Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and this is a uh, little uh, video for instructions on using the XH Data D808. In this video I'm going to explain to you how to use single sideband switch between upper and lower sideband when you're tuning around um, of course SSB signals on shortwave. So I'm going to choose an amateur band. Uh, let's say that I want to listen to the 20 meter band. So what I'll do is I'll punch into frequency with frequency and go into the middle of the 20 meter band. So here we are. Now you got to put yourself in single sideband. I'm going to press SSB. We'll see that SSB appear on the display. Now it says upper sideband, lower sideband. One of the things that I see a lot in the forums is how do you switch between upper and lower? Upper and lower is switched with the button just below SSB button called info. When you press here, you actually switch between lower sideband or upper sideband. So that's one of the first things you need to know. Then when you actually tune around signals, so I don't know if we can actually hear something right now. Seems to be a quiet band right now on 20 meters. So of course you can use the tuning to fine tune also, so how? There we go. So here's a signal. It's slightly off. How do you fine tune? The fine tuning button is right here, and it's right here, fine tune on the side. What it does, it actually will move your single sideband decoding a little off. So you see here, fine minus. If you go down, it goes into the negatives, and if you go up, it goes into the positive. And this fine tuning, actually what it does is simply change the frequency slightly. It's like a BFO if you want. It's a beat frequency oscillator button, a very fine tuned button that you can use for the uh, purpose of just adjusting the voice properly. So of course, you will be tuning a uh, single side main signal and uh, tuning around. So here, it's a little off. So I'll use a fine tune to bring it to what sounds the most natural possible. So this sounds, that sounds pretty close to what it should be. So minus 14, depending on the signal you tune, some will be better than others closer to zero. There's always a slight difference. And I suspect that the XH data has a slight offset. Uh, it's not precise, precise, and, but you know, it's, uh, it's still very, very good, uh, even at zero beat. Uh, if I wanted to tune a lower sideband signal, well, I'd go to a band where there's lower sideband signals. Let's try the uh, 40 meter band. I don't know if I'll hear something at this time. And of course, I'll press the info button to change to lower sideband. And then we'll, uh, of course, try to tune any signals. Here we go. And of course, you can adjust the fine tuning once again for the most natural voice possible. When you're listening to ham signals, it's natural that sometimes you might have a certain hams a little off. Absolutely, and thank you very much. And uh, but usually all communication should be okay. Thank you so much. So this is how you tune upper lower sideband, and uh, how you tune single sideband signals into different bands. And of course, don't forget to use the fine tuning to adjust the voice on the right side. And of course, when you want to go back to listen to AM mode signals, you simply press the SSB button and it brings you back to normal AM mode on shortwave. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.